Hi there. Thanks for tuning in. Yesterday I posted a video, um, things around my home that were yard sale finds. And today, just kind of sticking with that thrifty theme, I'm going to do items that I purchased at flea markets. So I'm going to start right here with this door. It is hung attached right to our wall. Um, I had some stockings hanging on it in December. That's pretty much how I keep it. It was $25 at a flea market. Um, has a really good chippiness. And this also, this is um, a right above a big window in our family room. Um, I'll see if I can get a little closer, hopefully it'll focus in. Just a really large corbel, and I believe it was also around $25. I'm going to take you right down here to this basket. This old wire basket has really great patina. It was $15. Um, I'm going to deconstruct this and show you. See, these were both flea market. Um, just two similar, you can see the detail there. You can see that. Um, ironstone, two ironstone bowls, and those were really cheap at a flea market. You usually find ironstone pretty cheap at those. Um, it was, they were like maybe two or three dollars a piece, really good price. Um, let's see, flea market. I'm gonna take you right over to this plate wall and this bottom platter it's pretty large that and the one at the top were both ironstone and the bottom one was ten dollars and they gave me the top one the very top one for free the same booth when I bought the ten dollar one and then I got this plate the one in the corner um, it was two or three dollars same same thing flea market very inexpensive um, when I think of my favorite ever flea market finds, I kind of think of these corbels. Um, they were extremely cheap. This one, he had $10 on it. Or no, I'm sorry, 12 He had 12 on this one. It's in really good shape. This one has a broken piece, so I, he had $10 on it. And when I went to pay for them, which I already have a spot for these. I had just gotten this large picture, but it looks so bare on this big wall. Uh, but when I went to pay for it, he charged me 20. He said, well, 20 work. So that was a great price. They are so pretty. Okay, this little centerpiece that I have on our coffee table um, in this drawer. I have this piece from a flea market. It's a metal corbel, and it's, I love the patina on it. And it was $10. Okay, this here is our fireplace. Um, in our family room and this piece is what I'm going to be talking about this corbel it was at a flea market it was $22 I believe maybe 20 or 22 it had gray paint that was kind of bubbling off so I have a little tool that I picked most of it off with and then I left some on because I kind of like the look so I think it's a great shape it's kind of unique the next item is this old mailbox um, has a really great look. I love the color and the way the finish is so worn. Love the glass knob. Not sure if that's original, but this was $15 at a flea market. Yeah, I'm in my kitchen now. There's a couple things here from flea markets. Um, this corbel, it works out great because one side is all white so I can move it into my family room where I like to have a lot of neutrals, um, but it also works here in the kitchen have this I don't know it's kind of a weird color it's not really cream it's not really yellow my furniture some of the furniture here's a chair that's in this room so I usually leave it on this side I kind of pulled it out for this video I had it tucked uh, more into this little tablescape here and I just got this scale I'm going to hang it it's a hanging scale and I'm going to hang a live plant from it eventually um, the corbel was under $10 at a flea market and I guess the scale it was more of an antique store so I'll talk about that when I do my antique find video kind of a view of the rest of that look these four plates I got for one dollar um, an antique store was doing an outdoor they had an outdoor flea market they were holding a flea market and they had these plates for a dollar each um, Ironstone and they 
coordinate so well with the rest of my kitchen. A couple of scales that are my favorite, and not just because I like the look, but because of the price and the way I found them. This is one of them. I love it because it has a really flat back. So you can stick this anywhere. It doesn't have that elongated back that's kind of hard to work with. Um, a lady had this at a flea market, an outdoor, a big outdoor flea market I went to. She had $8 on it. Thought that was fantastic. We're in the entryway now. I wanted to show this corbel. Kind of come up close so you can see how good the chippy paint is. And that was right around $20. It's pretty large. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. It's a pretty large piece. And then right here in my entryway, I'm just going to swing this camera around and talk about one of my all-time favorite finds um, at a flea market. My preacher owns a small flea market, and um, I think it was the first time I'd ever been there. He had this scale right behind him, and I said, how much do you want for that? Thinking he's going to say 60, 65. That's what they always are when I see these at flea markets. He said, I'll give you that for five bucks because I pulled it out of the trash. So, super happy about that. Um, yesterday on my yard sale video, I, believe it or not, got this at a yard sale. Uh, that's a really good find, and I forgot to mention it in the video. So, I will just put that there. And my $5 scale. Love the color. Just so perfect. Um, this corbel, there's a corbel back here. That's a flea market. It's kind of broken, and it was super cheap. I want to say $5 or under. Um, and the next thing I'll talk about is this grate. I am so glad I found this. I had just ordered a pretty ornate one, and then like a week or two later, I was at an outdoor flea market, and they had a, a line of them on the ground for $10 each. And I love the way the paint is layered and chipped, and I love the diamond design. It goes really well with this window that I'll talk about. Um, in another video. So that's part of the entryway. This was an exciting find. This little corbel I got from an Amish family. They, um, we weren't in Amish country, we were just um, at a flea market and they had it for three dollars. I bought several little things from them. I think I bought plants and vegetables and all kinds of things. I just remember that was a really fun find. I love anything that's white and chippy. Um, this is just a Pioneer Woman plate from Walmart, but this one down here is like the one I showed you on the wall. It has a little bit of scallop, a little design, crazing. And like I said, this, these were two or three dollars, really cheap. Um, okay, there was another item. This is flea market. And these are balusters, like from stairs. And I like the blue was the reason I bought these because I have, a I have just a touch of blue in the entryway, so I knew where I wanted to put them. And these were $4 each, I believe. We have some board and batten that my husband put in here, and it just kind of all ties in. Oh, I also have this from a flea market, and I only bought this because it was such a good price. I don't really have a use for it. I had a Christmas tree on it um, in December, but I want to say it was either eight or $10. I know it was a steal. I was buying a lot of other things and he just kind of threw that in at a really good price. So I'll find a good use for it. last baluster I talked about reminded me of this one. This was actually the first one I ever bought. And most of the paint is chipped off, but I love the weathered wood. And it's a pretty good size and it was $10 or under. It was very inexpensive. Let's get these. This is kind of different because it's not vintage. It's a reproduction, this farmer's market sign. Mom and I go to Ohio Amish country every year and we go, when we are there, we always go to the flea markets and this was just a reproduction. It was probably around $35. It's a little smaller. When I got it home, it was maybe a little small for that space, but I love the font of the letters. I thought it was pretty. I'm just going to swing this around my cabinets to one other thing I got at my preacher's flea market and he sold me this really cheap also. Um, I believe it was five dollars. It's some kind of old vent. So it was white, so of course I had this to have item it. is going to be hard to see. Um, it's in the hallway going out to our garage. It was just a little piece of trim. Um, I'll try to get, I don't know if that'll focus in on how neat the wood is. It was the perfect, I didn't have to cut it. 
I actually just hung it up there with some sticky tack. Some Loctite sticky tie is how that's sitting up there. I thought I'd give that uh, corner a little character. Okay, this is another grate that I have. This one I paid a little more. I want to say 22 to 25. It was the first one I bought, first one I'd seen. I really didn't know what a good price would be on them, but it's really pretty. I love the way the paint is chipped in the rust. I'm just a big fan of that. This little basket I got really inexpensively. It was $3 at a flea market. I put a great big pumpkin in it um, this fall. And when I went to put it away, I was like, well, I'll just find a place. I already had a nail hole here, so I just kind of stuck it here. And I've changed out the decor in it, inside of it a little bit. It's just kind of cute and very, very reasonably priced. I got this, um, I believe it's just a post office scale or postmaster scale. It's very old, and it was $11. I didn't know if that was a good price. I hadn't really priced them, but it's cute. It's the right color for me. I kind of needed a stopping spot for this video, so I'm going to just focus in on this old card table. I did not find this at a flea market. I got it at a vintage warehouse. So my next video um, that I'll try to get up soon will be um, vintage, antique store, um, things of that nature. So if you could watch for that video, and thank you so much for watching this one. Have a great day.